bite from a black mamba can kill an adult in half an hour. And another snake, the taipan, native to Papua New Guinea, 45 minutes on average. But that doesn't seem to bother Tim Freed, a resident of Wisconsin. Black mamba. He can take bites from both less than a minute apart. And he says he's cheated death hundreds of times. I picked the most dangerous ones in the world, black mambas, taipans, cobras, crates, coral snakes, rattlesnakes. Um, I couldn't get every single snake I wanted to have. Um, some you just can't get. And I don't like taking stuff out of the wild. So, you know, I, I had to pick and choose. What kicked off as a fascination with reptiles and venomous creatures 20 years ago evolved to a full-on scientific study today. Two bites, nice. Years of exposure to lethal cocktails of venom made Tim's blood develop unique properties. And when I was doing it, I sat back after about a year and just realized that people died from snake bite and I wasn't dying. So at that point, I decided I have to reach out to every scientist on the planet, um, which I did. Reached out to a lot of them. Can you study me? What can we do to save people from snake bite? Researchers say his blood could be a silver bullet for snake bites and help create a universal antidote to them and many other types of poison. So Tim uh, basically created a procedure that allowed broad recognition of uh, many, many different toxins uh, moving forward. Um, and that recognition allowed him to be protected from snake bites. And what we're hoping to do is take that same protection, but not have to have everyone undergo 18 years of immunization and snake bites ultimately. The making of remedies to venom is often a slow and expensive process. Antibodies are developed in living creatures, requiring hundreds of venomous snakes and horses that are often used as hosts. For many people around the world, that's made the drug too expensive and difficult to get. Tim's unorthodox methods could help cut time and costs, helping save thousands of lives. But despite the potential for a breakthrough in science, Tim says risks are involved and he's urging those inspired by his work not to try it themselves. Felix Nyawara, Al Jazeera. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.